Hello, this is my second vlog for this, for this class assignment. Um, <clears throat> having looked over the sites, there are some interesting ideas that can be pulled, I think, from this podcast idea, like listening to these podcasts and having the students contemplate on it, maybe jot down notes to what they're listening to, write down prompts, and then have them write short essays, maybe like a paragraph or two or three, would be an interesting way to have them thinking critically, having them continuously writing and coming up with ideas I, I think this is a good idea in three, but I also know that considering the length of these podcast episodes, they might have to listen to those on their own time, and then we'd spend class time writing the essays, or vice versa. We listen to the podcast in class, they write down the notes, and then they write the essays at home. But like, either way, it does seem a bit time consuming as far as constructing a lesson around it would work but i do see the merit in it and i get the approach i get the necessity of something like this and i think it would be a good tool and maybe I don't know if I don't know if there are others like this. Maybe there are other podcasts like this for poetry, for narrative writing that we could use, or we could take the principle of this of these podcast lessons and convert them for those kinds of writing styles like poetry and narratives. But I think this is a good baseline idea to get other students interested in writing and have them start processing and thinking critically and coming up with ideas of their own. I think that because having grown up in an era where I would... I was one of the few kids in class who liked reading and writing in class. Like, I liked those assignments. I liked, I liked reading stuff like that and stuff like that. And most of the other students around me did not. And we need more students who do either enjoy it or are just good at writing because it almost seems like a dying art. And I want to be able to, as a teacher, kind of foster that a more creative mind helps students find a voice and find the style of writing that they might enjoy. Like, if we do these assignments, we might end up finding students who do enjoy writing essays or students who do enjoy writing poetry or stories who students who do enjoy writing narratives. Like, it all depends on how we approach it how the lesson plan gets their creative juices flowing. More than that, I want them to feel that I I do care about their about their education. I do care about the stuff that they write. I want them to be able to write things that are that are well crafted. But like that's gonna be that's a process. And maybe these lessons can help them do that. I, I would need to be, like, like some teachers will be reflexive and be critical about, about students writing. I want to try and be as nurturing as I can. I want to help them see the joy in what they're doing, if that makes sense. I thank you, and I hope this made sense. I'm kind of trying to 
get thoughts out of my head when I'm not a very good public speaker. But I hope, I hope I got my points across. Thank you. Have a good day.